NANI?! Are you kidding me? What's going on everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre the Brute Daniels. Ooh, happy Monday to you all. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Ooh, duh, lolly. This weekend was absolutely insane with Deadpool taking over the world, San Diego Comic-Con dropping all types of insane news that is just going to ripple through pretty much all of nerddom and we're going to talk about it today good grief now before we get started do all those great youtube things like comment subscribe and follow me on those dope social media platforms here over there and let's start off with the easy stuff let's talk deadpool so unless you've been living under a rock everybody knows that deadpool and wolverine has been an absolute smashing success um with its <laughs> funny jokes crazy action sequences and good grief cameos that will last a lifetime and seeing a whole lot of great stuff and has built a lot of good will. So I thought it'd be really good to just see what the people are talking about. <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Y yes. We all know that Rotten Tomatoes is definitely the seeds of uh, the devil. But nonetheless, just for this example, we're going to be using it just to show how the critics and uh, audiences have looked at this film and have all said, hooray. Everybody's having a good time, which is extremely, extremely rare, especially with modern day MCU, which has been for the most part an absolute dumpster fire, but everyone is having a good time. So that's really, really good. And look at that audience score, 97%. And I, and that's a, a score I can actually agree with because it's just about a, having a bunch of dumb fun, but it doesn't matter how much dumb fun you're having. Is this joint getting any of this? We've got to have money. And by God, it is. Currently, as of recording, it is $438 million worldwide in its opening weekend, which is ludicrous. Um, now, I think the budget was $200 million, and I, I know that the marketing for this was absolutely insane, so it's probably another $50 million on top of that. So it's looking down at maybe $550 million to $600 million to break even, at this pace, it's gonna make it, and I can. And me, me, and my fellow members of the round table we discussed yesterday. This joint is gonna make its billion dollars, no question. This joint is going insane, and I'm glad that people are enjoying themselves at the cinema. Now, at San Diego Comic Con, there was a massive announcement and a massive reveal. Oh, yes, the Savior has returned. Now, a lot of people have some mixed emotions about this, and I am one of them. Let's get a couple things out of the way. I love RDJ. I think what he's done with Iron Man has, has pretty much catapulted everything to where it is today. The MCU it would not exist without him. However, seeing him cast as Doctor Doom when there's going to be a bunch of other actors to fill this role... It reeks of desperation by Disney Marvel. Now, look, I get it. This current regime has failed. They have failed since after Endgame. Nothing has had impact. Ever since RDJ has left the MCU, the MCU has not been the same. So, yes, from a financial and uh, critical standpoint, Yes, you pull the trigger, you bring back the old regime, including the Russo brothers, was announced to come back to work on <laughs> Doomsday and uh, uh, Secret Wars, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But my feelings on this are very simple. The current regime has failed, period. This is waving the white flag. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They try to go a different direction. It failed miserably so now they have to bring back the old guard to try to <laughs> jump start this car and is this the right move to get butts and seats of course absolutely because the normies out there are just going oh look it's rdj i'm gonna go and see this movie i'm gonna go and see this movie now i don't think his casting is dr doom is a horrid mistake um i i, I just don't see it i re i really don't think this is from a story standpoint, a good idea. 
But if they're trying to get butts and seats because there have been none almost for five straight years, I can see where they're going with this. And last and certainly not least, let's talk about the new films that are coming out. Avengers Doomsday of May 2026 and then Secret Wars of May 2027. Now, here is the problem. There has been absolutely no buildup to these films. And these films are a year and a half away. Well, the Avengers Doomsday. And Doom is now going to be the major villain because Kang has been <laughs> erroneously removed. Huh. Where's the build? There's no build to this. There, who, heck, screw that. Who are the Avengers right now? Who are the Avengers in the current MCU after during Phase 4? Because I don't know. I have no clue <laughs> who any of the Avengers are. So that's going to be a problem. So this is going to have a serious narrative issue in trying to build to this Avengers Doomsday and, of course, into Secret Wars because of this hard left that he had to make because of Jonathan Majors and all that other stuff. They really paint themselves into a corner when trying to do this. So, and the next projects that are coming up have nothing to do with Avengers building up. The first thing is what? Next is Agatha Harkness? Or Agatha all along. The, whatever the Agatha show that's been renamed 800 times. That's coming up next. Then it's uh, uh, Captain America. Uh, Brave New World. Then Fantastic Four, which is supposed to be a period piece. Where's the build to Doctor Doom? Where's the build to any of this? It, this is going to be rushed. It's going to be a hot mess in my personal opinion. And, of course, that will then, of course, go into Secret Wars, which we can hodgepodge anything at that point. We can take the X-Men universe that's been built up. You can do anything with Secret Wars. That one, you know, wh whatever. You can just make up a whole bunch of stuff, which I'm pretty sure they'll do. But Avengers Dooms, they need some legit build, and it is not there. And uh, I am not quite excited for those. But you know what I am excited for? Another seamless transition. Trouble with Within is still available. I'll leave a link in the description section below in my link tree. And once again, thank you for all those people that have been checking out my book and ordering them. You guys have been fan freaking tastic. And I love to hear what you guys think. And I have a Pokemon battle that is on my Debrut Plays gaming channel. I will also leave a link to that in the description section below. And do us what YouTube thinks. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. You guys are all fantastic. Now, ultimately, what do I think? Now, first and foremost, I'm so glad that Deadpool and Wolverine is being a huge, absolute success. And of course, it's a hold from yesteryear, and people are going to the theater and having fun. I'm very happy that people are having a good time in the cinema. We don't have that enough. This RDJ situation, this is <laughs> it's a desperation ploy to get people back in season, to get people excited. But it's also a admitting of defeat by Disney marvel and they'll never come out publicly and say that oh we were wrong about the blah, 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 and all that other stuff but this is reeking of we screwed up and now we have to go back to what works so from that point of view i'm glad to see that there's some type of recourse but at the same time i don't want rdj as dr doom there could have been a bunch of other actors that i would prefer to see in this role and i it doesn't really move the needle for me whatsoever now as far as impact it's gonna it's gonna cause some ripples it's the only thing anybody's talking about on the internet so obviously what they did worked by making this announcement now as far as the secret wars and doomsday i, I don't know how you how these films are going to be building on each other to try to have these type of to massive avengers events when one we don't even know who our avengers are and two we don't know what doom wants and we don't even know where things are going as far as the cinematic universe is concerned so there's a lot of hot mess here but at the same time people are talking about it so i guess i <laughs> guess they won on that front yeah that makes sense so what do you guys think um maybe you guys have checked out deadpool maybe you think it's the greatest movie of all time and you had fun with it or maybe you're really excited to see RD, rdj back as <laughs> dr doom which is it's just absurd to saying out loud. Let me know in the comment section below. And do all those great YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. As always, you guys have been awesome. And I'll catch you all next time.